Hey, my name is Robert. Welcome to Guzzi Fabrication. This week's video, three different ways to dial in your welder settings for thin auto body sheet metal. Let's go. We're going to go through all of the steps on how to set the voltage and the wire feed speed on your MIG welder fast and easy. Step number one, determine the material thickness that you're going to be welding. We want to use a material thickness gauge. We never want to guess. For the demonstration, we're going to be using this Miller 211. This is a great little welder. We need to know what size, what wire diameter we're going to be using. 0 0.030. Number two, we're going to be setting our wire feed speed and our voltage. We set our wire feed speed first on the inside cover of every MIG welding machine and if it's not on the inside cover it's going to be in the instruction manual there is a chart to dial in the machine we need to a starting point for our wire feed speed we're going to use the formula on this chart on the inside of the machine the formula goes from left to right we're welding steel using solid core wire 7525 shielding gas. Our wire diameter is 0 0.030. Jump up to the top chart. We're welding 18 gauge. Those intersect at 5 and 40. 5 is the voltage setting, but 40 is our wire feed speed. Once we know that, now we can get our machine adjusted. It's that fast, that easy. And take note. The settings on this chart are for this machine, not every machine. Now we already know the material thickness of our panel that we're going to be welding. Get a piece of scrap metal that is the same thickness. Our chart on the inside of the machine gives us a starting value of 5 and 40. Now we're going to dial in our machine based off of the wire feed speed. That means we're not going to adjust the wire feed speed. We're going to set this machine, get the settings correct by adjusting the voltage. We're going to get those settings dialed in by watching the arc, paying attention to the weld puddle, and most importantly, listening. You are going to hear differences when we increase and decrease the voltage. That will tell you which way your settings need to go. Let's do some welding. Recommended setting first. We're going to quench between each weld to cool off the panel so we don't get an inaccurate reading. Now we're going to set the volts at 2. That is the penetration on the 5 and 40. There's no penetration. Yeah, the, the metal's not melting. The wire's not melting into the base. You could hear the popping. You could hear the way the arc sounded. And you could see the arc. It, it wasn't a smooth arc. It was stubbing into the base metal. Everything was wrong. If this is what your weld looks like, your voltage is way, way too low. You need to turn your voltage up. Now we're going to try turning up the voltage to the next setting, 4. Thank you. 
increasing the voltage really helped. But you can still hear popping. The arc sound is inconsistent. Weld bead is narrow and piling up. The voltage is still too low. Now we're going to go past our recommended setting to 8. And let you see what happens when you have too much voltage. Increasing the voltage, immediately the weld pool got out of hand. It blew through. When the voltage is too high, you start getting excessive spatter. I don't think we need to go up to 10. So now that we know what too hot and too cold on your voltage setting looks like, we're going to dial this thing in. We're going to do two more welds, one at 4.5 volt and then the setting is going to go to six hey turning the machine down to four and a half from the baseline of five, that's a pretty decent weld. I'm pretty happy with that. The profile, it's not built up too much or piled on too high. The sound was really nice. That bacon sound, bacon frying sound. It was a nice, steady, continuous sounding arc. Okay, now let's do... Number six, we're going to bump it up past the recommended setting from five to six. That'll be our last weld. Then we'll compare everything. Hey, when we increase to the number six voltage setting, man, the weld got away from us really quickly. Now, I could have increased the travel speed. But you want to be in control. You don't want to be running away from the well pool. Now, when we decrease from the baseline down to four and a half volts, the weld really cleaned up. I really like that weld. And it had a very good sound. What you want to listen for is a continuous buzz, or they call it a bacon frying sound. Just a continuous buzz. If it's popping, if it's crackling, anything like that, your weld setting is off. Okay, so let's go back to our baseline and recap. This was our baseline weld, what the recommended uh, setting was on the chart. We went down to the 2-volt setting. That's what it looked like. The wire started piling up. It had no penetration. There was stubbing in the weld pool. Bad situation. That's what it looks like. If that's what you have or if that's what you're doing, you are too cold. You need to increase your voltage. Now we bumped it up to four. Increased the voltage. Everything started to get a little bit better. But it was... If you go back, you could hear some popping. If you're hearing popping or the wire is doing this, stubbing, your voltage is still too low. Then when we increase to 8, yeah, we just lost total control right off the bat. Blew through. If you're getting spatter, that's another indication that your voltage is too high. Now this 4.5 to five or somewhere in between there. I'm going to say that is our dialed in setting for all of our parameters. Now, and remember, we only changed the voltage. We did not change the wire feed speed. Set the wire feed speed first. Find that value. Then you set your voltage based on your wire feed speed. That's how you dial in your welder.
go to MillerWells.com, click on the Weld Setting Calculator. Now you can download an app that is going to be a wire feed speed and voltage calculator. It will do it for you and it's in the palm of your hand. Choose the processor you're going to use. We're at MIG Solid Wire Welding. What type of material are you welding? Steel. How thick is the material? 18 gauge. And this calculator will do all of the work for you. We're using 0 .030 wire. That's going to give us a wire feed speed range of 150 to 175 inches per minute. Now on the voltage, our starting voltage range using 7525 shielding gas is 16 to 17 volts. Doesn't get any quicker or easier than that. Let the calculator do the work for you. Now keep in mind this is a starting value. It's not set in stone, just a starting place. And the third and easiest way to set your welder's wire feed speed and your voltage correctly is let your welder do it for you. Okay, so what I mean by that, now my Lincoln Power MIG, it's a transformer machine. It doesn't have that capability. But this little Miller is an inverter machine and it has a feature called auto set. And the way that works, set your voltage in this range, pick your process, and then you come over to your wire feed speed, select the correct diameter of wire that you're using. When the light's on, the machine is going to calculate it itself and it will self-regulate the wire feed speed and the voltage based on your parameters. I mean, if you're in the, in the market to buy a welder, that is something to definitely think about. The newer inverter welders, yeah, they all have this feature. The older ones, they don't. Now, if you are in the market for a welder, with the auto set feature, I did a video on this DP200 Yes Welder. Very budget minded, awesome little welder. There is a discount code if you follow the link in the description. Now let's discuss some considerations. Am I going to be welding in a 1G flat position, 2G horizontal? or 3G vertical? Am I going to be butt welding or am I set up to do some lap welding? Well, one welder setting for wire feed speed and voltage isn't going to cover all of those joint configurations or welding positions. We've been adding new products to our online store every week, all to make working on your project go smooth and easy. The link is in the description, goozyfabrication.store. I really hope this week's video helps somebody out there grasp welder settings. And hey, if you like what we're doing, you can help support the channel. Like, subscribe, share the video. I fund making these videos through my online store, goozyfabrication.store. And you can also support me on coffee.com. Both of the links are in the description. And as always, thank you for watching.